see right here. Look, <laughs> guys, this guy's live. He's lives in live wire. Now we talked about DNA. Yeah. Let's show him some of the DNA. What do oh, you yeah. <clears throat> God, this dude's organized, man. Got five. I think it's DNA right here. <laughs> oh wow. All DNA. These are all health certificates from Wisdom. The DNA re reports. I, I use Wisdom Panel. I really huh. like. I, I really like their I've told breakdown. Too. Their Did breakdown you? is great. Phenomenal. Um, even for people that just want to know the breed types. Um, you use any other ones, it's gonna say 100% bullying. We all know that ain't true. It's not a brute. We all know, you know. Yeah, Maury Pope would say that was a lie. Oh well. Wow. So yeah, these are all health tests. So when you're looking at the DNA to decide which dogs to breed to who, so these are right here. These are all like health test stuff from Wisdom. These are all DNA tests. So these are all the. the there you go. Read it. Well, the following genotype you know, uniquely represents the genetic identity of animal named Helen. How's that as VGL? Interesting. So these are all the traits that carry into this dog to make this dog. So if you see... You try to match up as many as you can. Interesting. So even here, I see uh, FH2054. Which trait is that? Does it say? I have to Google, man. I don't oh, know. Oh, no, you're Oof. good. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's over 300 and something traits in the dog. Isn't that crazy? And where do you get this done at? Uh, this is through um, UC, UC Davis. Oh, these the place of places yeah. for DNA Yeah, that I do know. Good Lord. And you can open an account with them yourself. Clearly. You, yeah, go they, straight. They, you don't have to go through UKC to go through them. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Oh, but this is say, oh, so this is UKC. That's place. through UKC. Only because I want the DNA on their, on their paperwork. So like here. So I'm going to hear you see DNA VIP. So a lot of people understand v DNA and DNA VIP are two different things. A DNA slash P means the dog, that specific dog was profiled. A DNA VIP means it was proven to be off both parents. Uh -huh. So I do this on every dog since day one I've been breeding. So everybody knows well, for one, we're not hanging papers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so we know whatever, whatever said dog we're breeding is that said dog. Yeah. Um, but it looks good on paper too, the UKC papers, you know. Purple ribbon, three, three, four, seven, five generations back, all purple ribbon. It's it's a beautiful thing to see. That is crazy. That was business. Oh, wow. Guys, look, I'm, my mind's blown right now because when you start talking about taking it to the next level, this is taking it to the next level. No, we DNA. I mean, we, we. This is not a game. We, we DNA every dog we breed. How many dogs we got? <laughs> can you a, a can lot. you count? A lot. Can you count? A lot. I don't know. There's probably 50, 50 DNAs, maybe 40 DNAs here. Sheesh. But that's important for us. You know, for us, we want to better the breed. And yeah. the better breed, you have to take the few extra steps. And it's sad that people will go out and buy. A, a known stud out there, whatever it may be, for whatever five thousand, ten, twenty dollars, whatever the price may be. The DNA is super important because you're going to pay that much money for a dog. Wouldn't you want to be confident to know that that dog came off those said parents? Okay, and you want to be on paper. Hey, there's the proof. Ain't no lying. There ain't no. There ain't no. I guess that's the only thing you can say. There ain't, there's ain't no line in, in, in the program, you know? You, you've given me... And then you know, if you're bettering the dogs or worsening the dogs, boom, you can go back to know exactly where it came from. But that's that's the point that I'm liking too, because you look and you say, now I know even more of what to help people highlight for those people that really want to do it right. There are people who've messaged me and I think they have good intent and they want to do it right. All this stuff costs money, but why not get it right? And if you're Oh, that's what I was going to say. What? These things, you know, people go buy stud fees for some more amount of money, but this only costs fifty dollars to DNA your dog. That's affordable. So tell me this: Why is all these breeders, with all the best bloodlines out there in the world, not DNA in their dogs? People think about that real quick. Do your research. <laughs> it's fifty dollars to DNA your dog. That's it. They sell new semen for three thousand to five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand, and there's no DNA profile on the dog. I'm confused. why are you buying it then? But see, the UKC and AKC have a standard, too, because if you do more than four breedings in a year, that dog has to have a DNA profile. In the oh, that's good. Oh, they just changed that then. Oh, what was it before? I didn't think they had that standard. 
Oh, I always thought they did. Not that I know of. So here's huh. been the challenge. The AKC back in the day would say, hey, listen, if a stud is used more than four times in a year, a year we need a DNA profile. So if someone does say, <laughs> hey, what's going on here? They can match and see if that actually oh. was a dad. But that was- See, I've always DNA, so I just, I didn't know that rule. Oh, it I was, just look, always done it. Well, I saw the UKC paperwork. Yeah. And so I'm pretty sure, that, I know for a fact the AKC, based oh, okay. on my understanding, if a male's used more than like three or four times in a year, you have to submit a DNA profile. Yeah. Because now we know he's he's, he's producing out he's there. Producing. But why wouldn't you want to do it? Like I said, fifty bucks. I mean, you, it costs more to fill your damn car up with gas. That's part <laughs> true. That part is true in today's time, especially out here in Vegas. So, investment. It comes down to doing the right things. Start with the small things and work your way up. You yeah. don't have to buy twenty thousand dollars for semen. Start with it. Get a good line dog. Start DNA profiling your dog. Start doing the health genetics and let the dog develop and find what weaknesses you see in the dog before you tend to use that semen you bought. You may end up using a different dog. You don't have to use it. You don't have to breed that dog you bought. I'm 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 with him. You know I've removed dogs from the program. Yeah. And I've and it's not a pride thing. You know people always ask about good old Bam Bam, and here's the truth: he didn't turn out the way he's supposed to. He wasn't a good dog. Uh, foot went way hard to the right. Could have been something that he talked about. You know, Got injured in the early stage. Early stage could have been all that. Now that I'm, you know, even thinking about that, we built a lot of stuff, and some of the stuff could have been. He could have failed. Cha Cha was living real bad one night for like like literally a week. And I was like, yo, what happened? Yeah. We were like, I don't even know what happened. Um, and, you know, she's fine now, but still. Yeah. Well, good thing it happened after he, the dog was older, because if it was younger, then it would have damaged for the long term. But they can't spray a leg like we can. We could spray in a leg, pull a muscle tone, you know, <laughs> ligament. And it'll heal, yeah. but, but it hurts. <laughs> it, it does. It does. And so when, you, when we're learning more about the care and the process of care and continuing care and foundationally care. What is foundation care? If we build it off of facts and facts are all that matter, then we can get to the truth. The truth is he's already attested to wanting, he's going to have a dog the day he dies. I'm probably going to have dogs to the day I die. I want to personally continue to breed the dogs. I want to breed to the day I die. So I know what I'm getting, but this is how you get to know. Here's how you actually better the dogs in all ways, shape and forms. Cause there's nothing worse than getting a phone call dog died at five years old because of some disease that he got. Cause you didn't care. Yeah. Anything you want to hit him with, man? Because, I mean, you pretty much summed this up, man. He's got the cryo banks for, for storing the stuff, the semen. Yeah, you He's see in control of that. You Show him that. Yeah. Semen. This is this is my life, Lauren. All the puppy money you guys sent me, most of it's gone into investing huh? in this. <laughs> She's trying to get me over here. Before. Most people don't even know what this is. This is frozen semen from canines. Each vial of these, this stick got... One, two, three, four breedings from my boy Royal Flush, which cost me fifteen thousand to produce that litter. So this is probably three thousand dollars a piece, five thousand dollars a piece. And we got we got some more in there. We got AZ. We got we got uh, what are that big dog? Cosmo. These are all productions for me. Golden Nugget, Palomino, Grizzly Bear. You just seen outside. These are. One of the things I can say is you don't always have to buy semen from people, but when you produce the best dogs and you kept the first pick and that first pick didn't come out, this is one of my good, uh, one of the things I can give you advice on. Use another dog you produced if it's better. You don't always have to use dogs that you kept in house. Use your best stock to produce better in the dog breed. Here you go, people. And again, I, I appreciate him for one letting us into his world. I don't even, have you done, have you done, you normally do interviews and stuff like this? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I love getting into rooms and, and just, you know. This is, my, this is my home in here. This I is, spend a lot of time in here. Yeah, and, and this is day. a full behind the scenes of what goes on in yeah. City Pits. And I'm highlighting someone who clearly has a love for what he does, most importantly. And even the dogs, the dogs live in a great life. And then he's trying to get it right every time. And that's our go-to. And. I don't have, as I said, the pride and ego to be like, I got to do this just because we can't. Yeah. This is a life. And I know what a bad dog would do to a person. And if you put bad, defensive, reactive dogs out there, we'll get a phone call and somebody got chewed up. And I don't want that phone call. So nope. you got to say, nope, he's gone. We're done here and move on. Appreciate you so much, my friend. This has been eye-opening, super informative. Use this information, people, and keep taking care of your dogs.